first of all, congratulations on being honored as a rising star in New Jersey. Thank you. So you have some pretty big ambitions. You're graduating in just a couple of months and you wanna work in the innovation sector. What is it about that sector that has you excited? Well, the main thing that has me excited is that it has the ability to solve many problems. Um, I look today and I see uh, problems that are so big and so large that they often seem insurmountable. But I think that the way forward is technology. Um, uh, recently, I was speaking with a professor of mine who gave me a, a economic philosophy book. And um, towards the end of the book, there was one philosopher who mentioned that eventually uh, entrepreneurs would essentially be taken over by innovators because they were the people who actually got things done. Um, and I think that the precedent has been set with folks like Zuckerberg and Gates who made products that no normal entrepreneur with a business background would have ever made. And I think that is the way forward. Well, I have to say, you've certainly done a lot of work to prepare yourself for the future. Tell me a little bit about the work you've done at this small business center where you are right now helping New Jersey small businesses with COVID relief. Once the COVID-19 pandemic started, um, the Economic De uh, Recovery Development Task Force was uh, started. And within the task force, there were uh, separate uh, groups, certain groups for startups, certain groups for accounting. Um, I landed in the group for finance and there I help to uh, do projections and package loans for small businesses. I also want to point out that you have a lot of investment experience too. It's pretty impressive. Tell me about the portfolio you're managing. So on campus, I am a member of the Roadrunner Financial Group and there uh, I help to manage a investment portfolio. Uh, the Dean of the Business School gave the group uh, 50K um, about, uh, I'd say six or seven years ago. And it has since ballooned into around $84,000. And some of that money goes towards uh, student scholarships here on campus, uh, which I'm happy to say uh, as of last year, I've now been uh, um, given out to students. I wanna ask you about something you said in the very beginning about innovation solving problems. What do you think is the biggest problem that needs to be solved here in New Jersey? I think the biggest uh, problem would be um, our infrastructure. I know that there have been talks about uh, rebuilding uh, American infrastructure. And I think that uh, we need to rethink the way some of our infrastructure has been built. And I think at the center of that lies new innovative technologies. Well, I'm glad you're getting recognition as a rising star. And thanks so much for telling us about your ambitions. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.